deployed to England aboard the Royal Mail ship Queen Elizabeth and serving in combat as part of the 8th Fighter Command from October 1943 to May 1945. The 365th Fighter Group, commonly known as the Hellhawks, participated in operations that prepared for the invasion of the continent and supporting the landings in Normandy as well as a subsequent Allied drive across France and Germany. Until this black and white film was discovered in a French archive, standard texts on the airfield at Beaulieu barely knew of the existence of the fighter group during what was the most crucial period of Operation Overlord and the liberation of Europe. One who gave much was Colonel Bill McChesney. Bill eventually found himself with the 365th fighter group when it was activated in 1943 and was assigned a Thunderbolt P-47C for his advanced training. When asked about his thoughts on first seeing a Thunderbolt, also known as the Jug, he remarked it was big all over, but he loved the plane because it was fast and powerful. The 365th relocated to Royal Air Force Station Bewley in Hampshire, also known as United States Army Air Force Station 408, located about two miles west of the village of Bewley. Here, the 365th continued pre-operational training and were instrumental in determining the maximum bomb load for the P-47, which comprised of two 1,000-pound bombs and an external fuel tank on the belly rack. Maintenance and repair of the Thunderbolts were constant activities. The ground crews were great, says Bill. My crew chief was the best. I always let him tell me what he thought about our junk's problems and airworthiness. I trusted him with my life. Aircraft crew chiefs were usually readying fighters at least an hour before a mission, which was often well before breakfast and sunrise. The chief would then go to breakfast and quickly return and assist the pilot in taxiing by sitting on a wing or walking a wingtip, because the pilots could not see what was ahead. The crew chiefs were also at the runway to meet the airplane and greet the pilot upon the conclusion of their flights. After a briefing on damage from the pilot, the maintenance personnel would inspect the P-47 and quickly see to its repair and servicing in order to ensure it was again operational as soon as possible. Pilots posted to the RAF 2nd Tactical Air Force, equipped with Supermarine Spitfires and Hawker Typhoons, trained with the 365th at Bewley. Colonel Ray Stecker assumed command of the 365th Fighter Group in June 1944. A West Point All-American athlete, he learned to fly P-47s at Bewley and in the post-war period eventually attained the rank of Brigadier General in the U.S. Air Force Reserve. An element leader was 2nd Lieutenant Robert Fry, who later rose to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel in the 388th Fighter Squadron. He was described as very down-to-earth with a good head. The 365th initiated combat flying with the 9th Air Force on the 22nd of February 1944 when Major Kofi downed a Fock Wolf 190 over France. Bill McChesney flew his first mission as a wingman in red flight during the first week of March 1944. Later that month he went on leave to nearby Southampton. Over the period of the next two months the 365th squadrons gradually converted from the role of escorting 8th Air Force heavy bombers such as the Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress to their new fighter bomber mission. During the transition, Hellhawk pilots attacked bridges, airfields, marshalling yards and heavy gun positions in preparation for the Allied invasion of the continent. This helped settle a debate about the most effective way to attack these sites and helped to prove that low-level fighter bomber raids were far more effective than heavy or medium bomber attacks. The pace of operations was increasing. Excitement was in the air. On the 3rd of June 1944, ground crews painted black and white invasion stripes on the Thunderbolts. By 0300 hours on the morning of D-Day, red-eyed crew chiefs were standing by their already serviced P-47s. The first flight briefing took place at 0430. Shortly after dawn, Bill and seven other 365th P-47 strafed enemy positions beyond Red Sector on Omaha Beach. On the 7th of June, the 365th, 366th and 368th groups flew 467 fighter-bomber sorties over 35 missions, 
with many squadrons spying over four missions on the same day. These missions were carried out south of the Aurora River to support the troops fighting on the Normandy beaches. Their aim was twofold, protect the ground forces from enemy air attack and destroy any and all obstacles on the ground that prevented Allied forces from advancing. The effective isolation of the battlefield using air support meant that the Allied landings soon secured a beachhead 75 miles wide and 20 miles deep. By this time, personnel at Bewley were already packing for a move to France.